Another player that was great last year was Nick Kyrgios. Off the back of the final in Wimbledon, he actually backed it up very nicely in the American hardcourt summer. He took the title in Washington in very nice fashion, of course, pushed through to get through to the quarterfinals of the US Open, knocked out Medvedev, lost a five-set thriller against Hashinov. Here he is picking up his second Washington title. But unfortunately, because of the knee and wrist injuries, he is out. And that also prompted him to talk a little bit about potential retirement plans the sport's crazy like it's the schedule is out of control just old bro i'm getting old 28 yeah yeah but all, all the drinking and partying i'm like 57 <laughs> so that's foe's fault bro i don't have those genetics bro you're at least five more years no Chance. Bro, for, no way. Bro, there's no chance I'm playing till 30. Kyrgios playing till 33 is insane. I'm not playing till 33. Oh, I promise you, when I'm gone, you will never see me again. I think I might just coach. Coach Fo full time. That would be highly ironic, wouldn't it, if he's going to coach. He is the most uncoachable player out there, and yet he is going to be the coach. There has been precedent before, of course. The Williams sisters always said they were going to exit stage left very early on, and they are obviously, Venus is still around at the moment. Tracy, do you believe him? I don't know what to believe. <laughs> uh, I, you know, I, I kind of find it sad that you're playing a professional sport and you just don't absolutely love it. You don't drink it up. I mean, we just finished Taylor Fritz's match and that's his 18th tournament that he's playing in Atlanta and Paul Anacone says he has to pull the reins in for Taylor not to play more. He just wants to compete. And that's what you have to feel. You don't have to feel like it's such a long season. You want to just feel like you're lucky to be out there. For me, I think Kyrgios, I don't know what he's talking about when he says the schedule is out of control. He's played one match this year. <laughs> he seems to take every other year off. So he should be able to play for another 25 years. The guy's so talented, he doesn't really train. He doesn't do all the things that are actually difficult and make it hard. And he doesn't seem to care, although obviously he does. It's just interesting to listen to him talk. Let's see what happens when he's 33. But as, as we're talking right now, I don't know if he's going to play five more matches. He's played once so far this year. And I'm not sure wrist, knee, his tattoo is hurting him too much to play. That I, I, would Pokemon hurt. maybe. I don't that know. Would Something's hurt. going on. But let's hopefully see him again. He was great last year. He did. For whatever reason, last year he was great. He loves Washington, by the way. He won it twice. The first time he won in 2019, he's talking to people in the stands. Where should I serve? Yes. Tell him where to serve. He's hitting aces. He's fun to watch. I, people love to it's watch It's great him. for the game to have him play, but he's got to play sometimes. Yeah, more Pokemons on his back than matches played, as Jimmy says, this year. There are nine Nick. Pokemons on his back. Nine on his back, but let's hope he gets back. The game is better for Nick in it, involved in it. Of course, he's going to polarise people's opinions, but his influence on it has been considerable on this particular sport.